When it comes to celebs with stunning taste in home decor, Kourtney Kardashian's one to consider. Whoosh.com founder is constantly offering peeks into her gorgeous 12,000 square foot mansion located in Calabasas, California. While Kourtney and her hubby Travis Barker have kept their respective homes for the sake of their kids from their previous marriages, it's yet to be seen what will happen with the arrival of their baby. The couple did buy a beach retreat together in 2022 though, located just south of Santa Barbara, which cost them $14.5 million. Before we get back into this house tour, I wanted to take a second to tell you guys something myself and Michael have been exploring to set ourselves up for financial success. So one day we can celebrate having paid off our own mortgage and have plenty of money in the bank. I'm gonna have my pal tax-free Mike explain infinite banking a little better than I can. Here's how it works. You put your money inside a life insurance policy. A portion of your money goes towards the death benefit protection that covers your- If you like the sound of this, stay tuned to the end of this video so I can explain more. Now let's get back into this house tour. Kourtney Kardashian's main mansion is located in the gated community of the Oaks in Calabasas, California, and just down the street from her husband's home. Purchased this two acre estate back in 2011 when she was with her ex Scott Disick for about $8.4 million off of retired NFL star Keyshawn Johnson. The 12,000 square foot home offers views and celebrity style privacy with six beds and nine baths. The mansion was already spectacular, but you know with Courtney's flair for design, she had to completely reinvent the place. She appointed their family favorite designer, Martin Lawrence Bullard, who's worked on a handful of Kardashian Jenner abodes to make the house a home. Courtney had a focus on her three kids when designing and wanted to make the place sophisticated but family friendly at the same time. Walking in the mansion, there's an impressive two level light filled foyer with walls of windows, and the formal living room is fitted with black and white furniture, her piano, a fireplace, and a very modern vibe. The chef's kitchen is fitted with limestone floors, a beamed wooden ceiling, and top of the line appliances like a wolf range and sub zero fridge. Glass fronted cabinets also show off quartz neatly stacked plates, bowls, and mugs, and the room is spacious with an industrial flair. Other features of Courtney's mansion include a games room, spa and sauna, elevator, and a home movie theater. In the past, Courtney has shown off her master suite on Instagram too, which featured her king size bed, a fluffy white rug, and a coffee table full of books. She's also shown fans one of the guest rooms in her home, which she wanted to give a hotel vibe for visitors, adding fresh robes, towels, blankets, and bottles of water. Another feature the reality star has added to her house is her very own Pilates studio with all the equipment that you would need. The grounds of her massive estate include covered patios with an outdoor fireplace, a basketball court, and of course, a beautiful pool and spa. The reality star has even hosted outdoor sleepovers and movie screenings in the garden during summer months, where she has set up a huge projection screen and comfy spaces on the rolling lawn for her whole family to hang out. Elsewhere, Courtney's property boasts everything from fruit trees to a barbecue area and an additional cabana. Her yard also features a flower wall that looks so gorgeous when it's in bloom. While Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker have been married for quite some time now, the couple still doesn't live together full time according to Court herself. However, they did buy their first joint property together in 2022. The home is located in Santa Barbara, California, a destination which the newlyweds love and where they actually got engaged and legally married. More specifically, the house is located in the low key beach town of Carpentria, which is south of Santa Barbara and Montecito. And the pair bought it off Conan O'Brien Ryan for $14.5 million. He paid only $7.9 million for the oceanfront retreat seven years prior. But since then, Conan gave the place a complete remodel. In this area, some of the Kardashian Barker's nearest neighbors include Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis, Kevin Costner, and George Lucas. This is the first time Courtney and Travis bought a house together, and Courtney's the one who revealed that while they're married, they still don't always live together. However, as you likely know, their main homes are located in the same neighborhood in Calabasas called the Oaks. When explaining the reasoning behind this living situation, Cord said, we want our kids to also feel really comfortable, and they have both lived in their homes their whole lives for the most part they each have their rooms and we're a block away. Travis shares three children, sons Landon, daughter Alabama, and former stepdaughter Atiana with his ex-wife Shanna, and Courtney has three kids of her own, Mason, Penelope, and Rain, who she shares with ex Scott Disick. 
While the two have maintained their separate households, they still make an effort to see each other on the daily. Now with the arrival of their new baby together, I'm sure it's going to be even more frequent. And who knows, the living situation may very soon change. Either way, their beach abode offers 2,142 square feet of space throughout, as well as four bedrooms and three bathrooms total. The main house just has two cozy bedrooms and a single bath with 1,000 square feet, but there's also a downstairs level Level with bonus rooms, storage space, and carport. The home also has an open plain kitchen with top of the line stainless steel appliances, granite counters, and it attaches to the combo living dining room. Here you'll find a sprawling living area with double height ceilings, a metal fireplace, as well as full walls of glass with views out to the ocean. This living room further opens out to the large wooden deck, which is perfect for bringing your meals outside, and the bedrooms share a balcony with more water views. If you're wondering where the rest of the bedrooms and bathrooms are. Courtney and Travis's beach property also boasts a two-level detached guest house. Here there are two separate bedroom suites which are ideal for either staff or family and friends who are coming to visit. This guest space offers a living room and kitchenette with breakfast bar as well. Attached to the guest house is the home's two-car garage that's been decked out with a Tesla charging station while the property has large gates for privacy. Also on the half-acre ground, there are 50 feet of oceanfront land and a tropical jungle of plants and gardens that include large palm trees and much more to round things out. Thanks for checking out this video. Now, if you fast forward to the end or stuck around to learn more about infinite banking, I'm gonna be real with you guys. Michael and I didn't really know a ton about what to do with wealth besides RRSPs and TFSAs. Let's roll another clip from Tax Free Mike. On top of your money that you pay into the cash value, the insurance company pays you dividends this is how banks and billionaires grow their wealth, including Walt Disney, Oprah Winfrey, and the Rockefellers, to name a few. If you are interested in doing something similar yourself, reach out to me at my personal Instagram at Kara the Vampire Slayer or email me at Kara at beforetheywerefamous.com and I'll put you in contact with the right people. Since we took a look at Kourtney Kardashian's homes, I think we'll wrap up this house tour here. After checking out her properties, what did you think? Before we go, answer this question for me. For you Kardashian fans, who's your favorite Kardashian member and why? Let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss a video. I'll see you all in another one. Bye!